Hello everyone. Welcome back to our IoT tutorial series. In today's episode, we are going to dive into NodeRate, a powerful tool for building IoT applications. We will demonstrate how to create a NodeRate flow to control and monitor IoT devices using a slider and a buttons. So, let's get started. Here is our NodeRate interface. As you can see, we have a flow that consists of several nodes. Our goal is to control an IoT device's volume using a slider and enable or disable it with buttons. First, let's take a look at the slider node. This node allows us to set the volume percentage for our IoT devices. When we move to the slider, it sends a message to the next node in the flow. To monitor the message, we have a debug node connected to the slider node. It will display the message payload in the debug slider on the right. Next, we have two buttons, enable button and disable button. These buttons allow us to control the IoT device's state. When we click enable button, it send a message to enable the device and when we click the disable button, it send a message to disable it. To process this button clicks, we use a change node. It takes the button click payload and sets the enabled property in the message accordingly. Now, let's take a look at the entire flow. When you enable the IoT device using the enable button, the slider become active, allow you to set the volume. Clicking disable button deactivate the slider. Let's see this in action. I will click the enable button to activate the slider. As I move the slider, you can see the volume percentage being displayed in the debug sidebar. When I click disable button, the slider become inactive and I can see no longer control the volume. That's it for the today's tutorials on using NodeRate to control and monitor IoT devices. With this flow, you can easily manage various IoT applications. If you found this video helpful, please give it to the thumbs up and subscribe for more IoT tutorials. If you have any questions or topics you would like us to cover it for future videos please let us know in this comment below thanks for watching and we will see you in the next episode thank you hey everyone welcome back to our node tutorial series today we got something interesting for you we will be diving into creating a custom slider in node red that allows you to set custom minimum and maximum values it's a handy feature for fine tuning your iot application so let's get started here our noted interface and within it we got a group named custom slider on runtime this group contains the nodes required for our custom slider let's break it down step by step first we have ui slider node it's the heart of our custom slider we have named it slider and as you can see it's labeled accordingly this slider node has something interesting properties we have set the minimum value to 0 the maximum value to 100 and up to 10 but here where the magic happens we can dynamically change these values using node set to demonstrate this we use a function node this node takes the payload from injected value and update the slider properties we added an inject node that sends a payload of 20 the negative value will be used to update the minimum value of our custom slider inside the function node we have written a simple javascript function it takes a payload assign it to the minimum variable and then create a new message this message contains a ui control object which specifies the new minimum value and a payload of 500 when we inject the payload it dynamically updates the minimum value of the slider allowing us to set it to minus 20. to see this in the action we added two debug nodes one shows the output of the function node and other display the value of the slider let's take a look i will click the inject button with the payload of minus 20. as you can see the slider minimum values has been updated to minus 20. we can select values within the new range that's how you can create a custom slider in node red and dynamically update its properties this feature can be incredibly useful in iot applications where you need fine-grained control over your devices if you find this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more 
about Node-RED tutorials and IoT content. So if you have any questions specific you would like to cover in future videos, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye.